Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video, I want to address a question that came up in a recent model states class I had. Is it possible to animate model states? And I've never been asked that before, so I thought it was a fascinating question. The scenario is we'd like to take a sheet metal part, for example, and demonstrate how that part would be formed, kind of like an order of operations, etc. Involves I logic. So what I've done to save a little bit of time is I've already formed the model and created the model states. So I'm going to take a look at the flat first. So I said zero zero. That's the flat sheet. And what I'm doing is using the sheet metal commands for unfold and refold. So I used an unfold here using that surface and unfolded all the bends. And then what I've done is for each model state, I'm using the refold command to show the order of how that shape would be put back together. So to demonstrate that really quickly, I haven't done the last step. So I'm going to right click on the uh, two, three step. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to renumber this to four because it's the last flange. And then this is critically important. When you use the copy for a model state, it does not automatically activate the new state. And I cannot tell you how many times I've started modifying the wrong model state. So double left click on that or right click activate and get that one started. We'll use the refold command, use this flat surface as my reference. And then I pick on that bend and now you have it fully formed up. So that just really quickly how I built these and I've sequenced them in exactly the order I want it to be formed. Okay, so that's kind of important. And then to do the iLogic bit, <clears throat> we're gonna access the model states from the API. It's actually not a very complicated rule. I've already written it just to save a little bit of time, but I'll walk you through it quickly. <clears throat> so inside this rule, we of course have to get access to the document so we can do the API calls we need and we're gonna grab the component definition because within the component definition of Inventor is a collection of objects called model states that contains all of the model states in a particular file. So I'm gonna grab all the model states from the component definition, and then I'm gonna define a generic empty object as a model state. So here's the rule, uh, it's very simple. And again, I'm assuming that I'm just going to go right down the list. So I'm looking at every single model state in the model states, and I don't want the master. So I'm saying as long as the name is not equal to the master model state name, then I want you to activate each model state. So it's going to start at this one, then move to the next, et cetera, et cetera. And I found this on the forum, so this is really good. We can also build a delay in there. So this delay is 500 milliseconds, and we'll see what that looks like. If we wanted to lengthen it, we can change that. So 500 milliseconds would be half of a second. So if you wanted to do it in a different order, what you would have to do is take this model state name, and you'd have to say if it equals the one that you want, or you set it equal to the one that you want, then activate it. You could do that if you wanted to. I find it's easier just to kind of put them together first and I'd cycle through, but let's give it a shot. So I go ahead and save and run this. And what you'll see is it goes to the flat and then every half second, it's going to add in that operation. So just cycled through the model states. If you wanted to do that a little bit less quickly, we could double it to 1,000 milliseconds. That would be one second in between each operation. And so that might give you just a little bit more time to see how things are coming together. So that's the technique using iLogic to access the names, or in this case, the order of the model states to activate them. And then <clears throat> we can Simply go ahead and add in a delay if we want to control the timing of that switch. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.
and have a blessed day.